Yeah, I, I think I, we couldn't be happier coming out of uh, out of today. Um, you know, it's a lot of building a lot of confidence coming into into Korea. So, um, yeah, I'm just pretty. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, two downhills on the air and two wins. It's hard to complain with that. Uh, tell us the difference between the first win and the second win. Uh, this morning was definitely kind of. We just wanted to come down, you know, ski hard and fast, but we wanted to just, you know, get a get a finish in and feel good and. I think this run we had a little more knowledge of how the course was going to run, so we could push it a little more, and um, it was it was awesome. The light was a lot better this afternoon. You know, the sun peaked out for a little bit, so yeah, I think we're uh, we're pretty stoked on second run. Yeah, absolutely. You know, speeds were up a little bit for second run, which I think uh, from what Korea was last year will probably be a little more similar to the conditions. So yeah, it was good to get a run down there, and uh, yeah, you know, a few little mistakes in there, but it was a great run. And for the second time, once again. Congratulations. Back to Alan. Yeah. 35-year-old completes his day. Now, he's a man looking for a double. He's won event number one. Can Mac Marku win event number two? Nobody's managed it yet. Three different winners in the second competition for the women. Mac and Jack might have very separate ideas to that indeed. Can the Super Canadian pairing take a second victory in a day? The 20 year old following down Jack Leach. Gold in Sochi on the giant slalom. Bronze in the downhill. Bronze in the Super G. Was gutted not to finish the slalom, the Super combined. Exceptionally humble young man, but has got all the ability to compete with it, any of the best VI skiers. And he's inside Herreus' time, 140 the difference. Oh, he's really had to work hard. And they've enjoyed that. These two are having fun. And that's part of the game, 113.70.